right, guys, I don't know if you have a... Carlos! All right, I'm gonna have to move my, my... Oh, no, they're gonna let me stay. Oh, man, this thing is billowing bad. Y'all got audio on me now? We are at the Sapphire Condominiums. Uh, the Gulf View Condominiums right next door to the Sapphire is in full blooms right now. They've evacuated most everybody. I may have to move my camera, my phone here, uh, my car here just a bit. They're making everybody leave. For the most part, the Sapphire looks okay. So we should be good to go. Right on, copy that. What brings you to the island? I live here. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. And you got cameras up there. I got man. You got clothes. I got I was right there. Man, did they get you out of there? No. 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 I, can they get to it? A cop was coming when I was leaving. Uh, are they getting? I mean, that right there, there's a couple of, of trucks with uh, yeah. red runners. Uh -huh. Are already gonna get fried. Yeah. So this already spread back. It's I hope it doesn't get to this one. It can jump, it'll jump through that little walkway yes. right there. Uh -huh. That walkway will make it, and it's going pretty fast. And the wind is That's pretty intense right there, bro. The wind is blowing. Yeah. yeah. Hey, let me get out of here before they kick me out. Okay, I did, I uh -huh. did. Hold on, let's do it. Now just tell me you're with me, man. Oh, right. Um, I told them I'm, I'm with Sapphire. Okay, okay. We're um, recording this for insurance purposes, just in case. Okay. It's been asked. Oh, you can see the embers were going all the way up to the roof of the sapphire. The camera on the sapphire was showing them going up. Yeah. All right, guys. Sorry about the shaky video here. Got it streaming live right now.
all the fire trucks are inside uh, the sapphire area right now trying to get through the backside Okay, for those of y'all don't know where we're at here, we're on South Padre Island, Texas, right next door to the Sapphire Condominiums. This is Gulf Point Apartments. Uh, I misspoke earlier. I thought it was Gulf View. Looks like it's Gulf Point Apartments. doesn't look like it's going to spread to the sapphire if anything it may jump over to another gulf point condo complex uh, the wind is blowing to the southwest something like that most of the smoke's coming away let me zoom out a little bit you can see what's going on here is a serious fire i hope there's nobody in there man this is wild this is definitely not spacex related i know most of my videos are spacex related but uh we also do a lot of stuff from south padre island here um if y'all can see here let me zoom in just a little bit we have some of the fire rescue fire trucks in i believe the third floor of the sapphire parking building trying to get some water jets across the way it doesn't look like it's doing any good at all these guys have their hands full today this is going to be burning for quite some time Yeah, this is going to be going for a while, man. This is going to go for a while. It could, it could take this building up. The winds are just too hot. Yeah, we can hear all kinds of popping going on. Yeah, they can't get they can't get close to this right now. It sounds like they have a fire rescue coming from possibly Los Fresnos and Laguna Vista area as well for more reinforcements. Oh my goodness. Gulf Point. No, guys, this is not the Sapphire condominiums. They are close to the Sapphire. This is the Sapphire right here. This is their parking garage. We have the fire trucks on the third floor of the parking garage shooting jets of water over to the Gulf Point apartments. Uh, Gulf Point condominiums, I'm sorry. It looks like we have at least two complexes on fire. Oh my goodness, this is intense. We have all kinds of fire agencies coming in from the mainland. Oh man, this place is going to the ground. Sorry 
for the wind noise. If y'all are getting some wind noise, I'm trying to block the microphone hole, but I got my hands full here right now. alarm has been ordered yet but this is uh this is probably one of the biggest fires we've had on south padre island hey tommy oh you think this is probably the biggest fire we've had here on the island i think so yeah i think never no one considered the biggest yeah. one south point i mean padre south had a little bit of small no, oh, nothing in this yeah this is wild Anybody that has Discord access, you can uh, ch jump on the scanner channel and listen to all the ops going on. Sounds like they got most everybody ac evacuated. I haven't heard any any other uh, details on that yet. Wind's starting to pick up. It's really causing some problems here, but um, luckily the sapphire is safe. And oh yeah, now they got a good, nice jet of water going across. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're hearing some nice explosions now. We got cars that are blowing up. Um, it's, there's a lot of undercover parking. There's going to be a lot of cars that are on fire. Uh, we may hear a couple more explosions going on with the uh, fuel tanks. Up here on the top is where our camera is. Thank God everything's safe over here. Prayers out to everybody. Hope we don't have anybody stuck in there. Yeah, this fire is not burning out soon, guys. This thing is going to be here for quite some time. They're barely getting any water on it right now. Well, I probably wouldn't have caught this if it wasn't for the rainstorm that came through earlier, thunder and lightning woke me up, so I got up to check things out. And, uh, wow. Oh, yeah. I, um, one of my buddies sent me a text and some video of what was going on. And, uh, I jumped on the stream. I zoomed out the camera from up above. And, wow, guys, I cannot believe what I woke up to. Alright, these guys are trying to make us walk back just a little bit more because of the exploding vehicles, which they're not going to cause any problems out here this far out. We're probably a good quarter mile from what's going on. falling apart big time. 
guess that's probably best for it. Golf Point condominiums, each one is individually owned and they are rented out through different uh, agencies. John Doan and Tommy Signs here on South Padre Island. We got some of the craziest shit going on today. Excuse my language, guys, but this is pretty intense here. Oh, wow. Looks like we got Harlingen coming in also. Harlingen, Brownsville, Laguna Vista, Los Fresnos. If they go up that far in alarms, might be a. Yeah, it's a twenty alarm fire. My dad was about. My dad would. Your dad would know. Yeah. Barry Wilson. is a big rainfall real quick. over there towards the back of that parking garage yeah. it looks like they're coming in over coming over to the to the uh, parking garage yeah that parking garage has got to be hot man that little bit of water putting on it is just not doing anything man they just got to get a mirror it's going to be so hard well they shouldn't be able to get around the back of the sapphire they can get the uh, the ladder truck out there and shoot from the top. Yeah. But that's just one little one little pisser. That's not going to do anything. They're probably pulling in bigger. The, the crazy thing is we have the biggest truck in the area. So if they call it up. where they have the stage though. I'm not sure if everyone's okay or not. Uh, for the most part, when it first started, I heard rescue on the scanners, getting everybody out of there and evacuating. 
I think they've gotten everybody out of that area. Uh, we keep hearing these explosions. I don't know if y'all can hear them on the audio or not, but more than likely they are car cars in the uh, bottom parking area. Oh, wow, man, that's really flaming. And yeah, once those cars explode, that's just more fuel to the fire. y'all hear I heard him. my neighbor called Fun. me my neighbor called me because he was heading over to Portisbo to the grocery store and saw it and videotaped and called me and then John called me you, you were listening to the scanner this morning or you just hanging about the other day oh they were in they were 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 yeah, the uh, the lightning and thunder. It just took off with all the. The lightning and thunder woke me up, yeah, and then uh, I then Chris, you know Chris, yeah. uh, Stubblefield, he he uh, sent me a video of what was going on, and I zoomed out the camera up on top, and I saw the cameras coming all the way up to the 32nd floor, and I was like, oh crap, dude, we're in trouble. in that condo right there in one of those well i even saw there somebody got their car and moved it but there's like a still a white car under there uh -huh. you know what they already well there is a new picture i'm probably checking doors okay yeah there he is yeah that's where i saw probably knocked on all doors you know what because the alarms are on now the alarms were going off and now they're not yeah yeah unless that's emergency power they were flashing early. See, they got several people checking doors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Knock out. Four trucks rolling up here on the hook. Got visual four trucks. Let's see. Oh, this is, they, oh they sorry. Probably call they probably called the whole everything in our area. All right, guys. For Y'all just tuning in. We are on South Padre Island. This is the Gulf Point condominiums that is in full bloom right now. One of the back complexes. They do have multiple complexes, so it's not the entire property. It is right next door to the Sapphire condominiums right here. We have multiple agencies here. We have, of course, South Padre Island. We have Port Isabel, Laguna Vista. Uh, Los Fresnos, Brownsville, and Harlingen fire departments all coming in to assist. This is probably the biggest fire that South Padre Island has ever seen. Thanks for the coordinates, guys. What's up, bro? Hey, man. <laughs> we got S. Padre in the house here, too. Gene Gore. Boom. Hey, guys. This is not. Oh, man. 
<laughs> not nominal, guys. Not nominal. Hey, let's just hope everybody got out. You know? I know. Ooh, the, uh, from the sapphire camera up above, you can see the damn embers are going up past the past the roof. It's wild. This is another uh, Laguna Beach just finally rolling in. Yeah, this is the uh, South Potter Island Visitor Center right here. See y'all talking about where we're at. here real quick see if I can get a different shot for y'all oh there goes another pop oh yeah oh that made a lot of smoke there for right now is a big downpour. Oh yeah, we're really gonna get it now. Uh, I'm gonna go grab my raincoat real quick, guys. Hold on one second. Stand by for just one minute.
All right, my apologies on that. Got my Paddington Bear suit on. Ugh. A second here. Rain's starting to come down, so that's a good thing. Uh, bad news on that is I may have to cut this short. My equipment's starting to get wet. It's really starting to come down now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this one off. Y'all hold on, I gotta go take my uh, tripod and other camera into the vehicle. I'll stand by for just a minute. dry off my phone real quick. Sorry guys. Give me just a moment, we'll be back in business here. getting some white smoke so that's a good sign they're getting some some of it put out that rain is probably helping out a good amount you can see the white smoke there that is a very good sign yeah guys we have some serious venting all jokes aside, I hope everybody has escaped this. Um, it looks like they do have, ah, okay, they got a closer, they had a closer water jet right over here. So they're getting some good water on it now. Both sides. Air 
Harrison. I appreciate that. agencies out here we have of course South Padre Island we have Port Isabel Laguna Vista Los Fresnos Brownsville and I'm not sure if our you're more than welcome to hit back on the other live streams go check out spacex and what's going on over there we also have a lot of locals that watch this channel so i like to bring all the updated news that i can for them appreciate y'all tuning in yeah the direction is changing just a bit uh, hopefully it doesn't start blowing to the north or it's going to blow all the uh, fire department out of the parking garage over there. We're all trying to attack from that angle. Sorry if I can't get to all your questions, guys. Okay, um, I saw uh, someone just, uh, Rusty, just text me and tell me that Cam 1 is frozen. We may have lost internet here due to this, I'm not sure. Um, this is right near the area where the uh, fiber got shocked during that last storm. So I'm not sure if we've lost internet or not. The sound that you're hearing are, uh, I guess, fire alarms in the distance along with the wind. Okay guys, y'all stand by for just a moment. The video may get paused. I'm gonna check on the camera stream and see what's going on. Y'all stand by, please. Guys, indeed, it looks like we have lost internet. They probably cut power to this entire area right now just to play it safe. I apologize for that, Cam 2 and Cam 3 should still be online. So, yes, confirm uh, Cam 1 is down right now. There's nothing I can do about it until they turn the power back on in this region. I'm 
uh, using cell service here, so that's how I'm online. That water that they're throwing on it is just coming right back at them, man. Look at that. That wind is just blowing the water right back at them, man. That sucks. All right, who is this? Uh, Timothy, just for a recap, we are on South Padre Island, Texas, right next door to the Sapphire Condominiums. It is Gulf Point condominiums that is on fire right now it is the northeastern complex i believe they have about five or six complexes here uh this started about uh right around seven this morning and uh i think they've got everybody out of there i haven't heard any other details about evacuations they evacuated pretty early thank god um we can see embers going all the way up to the 32nd floor and the roof of the sapphire condominiums earlier as it first started they're finally getting a small handle on it we got some white smoke happening now we have multiple agencies out here we have south padre island of course we have port isabel laguna vista los fresnos brownsville fire department we have dps on scene in massive quantities yeah we have the aep electrical line uh trucks here so we definitely don't have power the sirens that you're hearing those big with all that noise in the background are fire alarms for the uh, joining or adjacent rather condos uh, we're getting some more big puffs of black smoke so we're getting some more fuel in there we had dozens of cars that were popping earlier probably adding more fuel to the fire literally These are one, two, three-story complexes with parking garages down below. Michael Mark, I appreciate that. Wish I could bring you something more enlightening here. Some of y'all are wondering why we're broadcasting this. Uh, we have a lot of local viewers on my channel, and I like to bring them updated information for the lower Rio Grande Valley down here. Uh, I see another fire truck coming. Coming in from this direction over here. We definitely need more rain. It looks like it started to let up again already. I have my dash cam running also case it's not as nearly a great a view as this oh man that place is wow looks like they are getting a little bit closer now that some of the flames have subsided they subsided but let me tell you earlier it was really engulfed this is not close to spacex property just so y'all know we're about six miles away from spacex we are right next door to the sapphire condominiums right here is a sapphire that southern tower that's looks like it's on fire and smoking uh, our camera is up there. We won't be able to see much from it. Just a big plume of smoke. This is a fire, guys. This is not a yellow tarp. With fire, you have smoke. Oh, guys.
guys, there are plenty of firemen guys. They're just all they're out, they're on scene all the way up in there. Yeah, I imagine that Sapphire Cam is pretty obscured right now. There's black smoke billowing everywhere. It's a uh, condominiums are privately owned and they rent them out by multiple oh, agencies. Wow. That little drone isn't going to last in this wind, man. That little drone isn't going to last in this wind, but five minutes. <laughs> I think they just brought it down. Could be the city. Yeah, it's the city's drone. It's the city drone. Did you all live here? Yeah. Yeah. I figured that was the city. For those of y'all in the Discord channel, you can jump on the scanner channel and you can check out all the uh, fire department operations and police operations going on. You should be able to hear DPS, uh, EMS, fire department, police. What time is it? Uh, I, I can't see. Well, they haven't had any progress with this, but there's no way. Yeah, it's been about an hour. Might even be about an hour and a half. why we don't have cam one right now guys spectrum has cut us aep has cut us i know spectrum is terrible out here. It's not helping at all. The wind seems to be picking up. It's coming from the northeast now. another explosion. Alright, we got another fire truck from China. Oh no, this is EMS. Oh, that's not a good 
good sign if they're bringing EMS in like this fast. Not a good sign at all, guys. I can't get to everybody's questions. It looks like the chat's really blowing up, so I can't really read it right now. to cover it as best as I can. Oh, you own it, Gulf Point? Oh, man. I hope this isn't the area that you have. You know, this isn't one of your spots. EMS on scene. I don't see them scattering, but again, they can't get close to this place anyway. Early on, they were evacuating. I can confirm that they were evacuating early on. I heard on the scanner. No, sir, this is not Starship related, everybody. We're about six miles away on South Padre Island to the north of SpaceX on Boca Chica. Bye guys.
need is a, a cameraman so I can get in front of the camera and give you all the goods. Hopefully I've muted some of that wind. These are a co uh, condo complex. They're not really apartments. They kind of look like apartments, but they're three-story condos. We got their multiple complexes in here this is just one of five I think these guys here I don't really think there's much they can do right now it's hard to get into the area safely which is good. The Belgian guy, all right, man, copy that. Appreciate it. I'm trying to cover it up with one of the little towels I have with me. second guys Let's see if I can get a different view no get that much better of a picture here or not. One, two, three. I see at least three, four. I see four water monitors now. They got a good amount of water getting poured on it. Got a lot more white smoke. I'm going to go back to my original location. Out of here? No, oh, I've got it since the beginning. 
Yeah, yeah. All right. Us, y'all may know him from uh, SpaceX and all his awesome pictures out there. He's been getting some good photos out here. I'm sure we'll be online soon. Carlos, Carlos I'm sorry, man. Carlos. Oh, I say Carlos, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Condominiums. The northeastern complex is in full bloom right now. It's been going on for about an hour and a half. And we got another fire truck coming in here. Oh, this is an old school cat. Who do we got? Who are we? More Brownsville. More Brownsville. Oh, they got a nice ladder truck coming in. Hopefully they can put that water monitor on it real soon. See somebody said heavy rain in 10 minutes. They're gonna need it. They are definitely gonna need it. Nunez. This is on Facebook. Somebody's posting from the South Carolina Condominium. Oh man, this is some serious business this morning. Action going on. Look at that.
big fat water cannon on there now. They're yeah. really dousing it good. Sapphire and see if I can get up there and get on the roof and get some shots. They just don't want anybody parked there to get inside. Alright guys. Oh. Yeah, it's a lot more white smoke. Okay, just to recap guys, we are at the Gulf Point condominiums on South Padre Island. Day. One of the complexes in full bloom right now, right next door to the Sapphire condominiums. This happened about an hour and a half ago. We're hoping they got everybody evacuated. <laughs> For any SpaceX related information, you can switch back to the other live streams. Right now we're just uh, strictly covering this fire here on South Padre Island. Give any locals any updates. Oh yeah. Let me see if I can get that one. We got a, we got a big cloud coming this way. Hopefully it's going to help out. We see a lot more smoke than fire now, which is a good thing. Yes, sir. Mother Nature did the rescue. Y'all stand by for a second. I gotta retie my hat real quick. People have said here we don't we cannot confirm it, but we have some uh, some scuttle that it was a transformer. Again, out here we're always having transformer problems. All right, man, we'll see you. Okay, so I'm just hearing some other rumors here that one of the firefighters had to be taken to the hospital. That cannot be confirmed, but that is rumors here on the side of the street right now. The rain? Yeah, it's about to come. Yeah, we're about to get some serious rain right now. It's starting to come down.
firefighters getting hurt out here. Um, you know, I hate to say this, but I really hope it's not one of our guys, one of our local guys here on the island. Oh, um, whoever it is, I hope he's safe and recovers quickly. Point, Gulf Point, P O I N T. Thank you. Uh, taking off. I'm going to try it from another angle of attack, I suppose. Looks like we've got a supervisor checking things out from a distance. We've got multiple fire trucks on the road here trying to reassess where they're going to attack from. This is a critical situation. It's hard to get to the area. There's just so much smoke. The wind is really hurting their operations here right now. Yes, we can also confirm that the electricity and the internet has been turned off in this area and that is uh, affecting cam one the normal cam is down due to this cam two lab cam and sapphire cam should still be online although from sapphire all you're going to see is a bunch of smoke oh yeah here comes rain big time rain now these guys are going to get get some mother nature's help a lot less flames though yep here comes the rain guys here it comes oh yeah man I know these guys are loving this right now man this is helping them out big time agency's coming through right now everybody's trying to pitch in uh, I might have to go throw hold on y'all stand by I got to go put on some more water equipment stand by guys stand by I'm not cutting the feed yet Y'all just give me a second here. I need to put on my rain pants now because it's really bad. Uh. At least get the winter wipers on. Almost done, guys.
show my rain boots too. Yeah, the wind's really picking up really bad. Oops. All right, y'all stand by for a second. I got to answer a couple texts. Yeah, to be honest, guys, I don't know if I'm going to get back out there in that rain. It's pretty, pretty strong right now. I don't know if I want a chance ruining my phone out there. I got my Paddington suit all set up. First time I've actually used the pants. I'm so glad this rain is coming down and helping these firemen out. Wicked storm, wicked fire, wicked way to wake up this morning. Gonna dry off some of my vehicle here because I got really rained on when I got in. Yeah, it's coming down strong right now. I'm not gonna get back out there. The rain's so thick right now, you can barely see what's going on out there anyway. Oops. All right, guys, another recap real quick. We're on South Padre Island here in Texas. The Gulf Point condominiums is on fire. One of the complexes is on fire. One of about five or six is in full bloom. It looks like they got it semi-contained. We're right next door to the Sapphire condominiums. You can see the two towers in the distance. That's where uh, one of our cameras are at. Way at the very top, southern to the right, the right tower. Oh yeah, the wind's really pushing right now. My vehicle's rocking just a bit. So don't come a knocking. We have multiple agencies here helping out. Along with South Padre Island Fire Department, we have Brownsville Fire Department. We have Port Isabel Fire Department, Laguna Vista, and Los Fresnos Fire Department. I'm not sure if Harlingen made it down or not. Wish my camera was waterproof. Pull out just a bit here. 
get a better shot. Oh, uh, maybe I can grab this shot over. No, 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 no. We definitely still have a lot of flames. Let's see here. Definitely have a lot of white smoke now. Oh, a lot of more lightning. Hopefully we don't get another strike over here. This is gonna be a very dreary day for those y'all concerned about the cameras out at Boca Chica. We may lose power on the batteries if they're not able to charge today. Might have to go send out reinforcements to plug in the uh, propane tanks once again. Hank Hill. Hey guys, it looks like uh, I am here to stay for right now. Fire depart uh, police department is not allowing anybody to leave the area. Oh man, the wind is really, oh my goodness. This is probably about 35 mile an hour gust blasting through here right now. These guys really need this, man. Uh, oh, yeah. Comes another lightning strike. And my vehicle is rocking big time. And water's so thick now, I can't even see the fire. Bit. I'm starting to not see any more flames now, which is a good sign. Um, but it's also really a lot, a lot of rain happening, so it's hard to see. Yeah, there is still some flame out there in the back. Uh, I need to resituate here real quick. really can't see anything out there now. Of course, you know all these uh, live streams that we do here are hosted and brought to you in part by Sapphire Condominiums and the Isla Grand Hotel. Yeah, there's so much rain coming down right now, I can barely see even the smoke, uh, just barely in the distance. guys just for another recap again we are not at Boca Chica right now this fire is on South Padre Island the Gulf Point condominiums 
right next door to the Sapphire condominiums. This started about 7 o'clock this morning, 7.15 maybe. It is the uh, northeastern complex, one of about five or six complexes of the Gulf Point condominiums. I think they have everybody evacuated. Fire department was really on top of it, got everybody evacuated really fast before it really got out of hand. Uh, early on, we could see embers flying up 350 feet up in the air above the Sapphire condominiums. It was pretty wild. Mark Shellard again, I got your text, I appreciate that. I'm not sure if that 400 megabit connection here is even working. I'm just running off a of cell service right now. Uh, the electricity has been turned off in the immediate area along with some of the uh, spectrum infrastructure. Might need to go ahead and plug into a external battery here. I'm not sure what I'm looking like on battery. See what I have. Oh, I do have a battery bank right on. If it wasn't raining out such bad weather, I could bust out the 360 camera and give you a 360 view of what's going on. in business with some yeah, oh, okay with some external power Friday Ray in the house yes definitely we need more root beer more root beer please Sorry about that, guys. Got my big old mug in there. I don't think that the lightning... I'm, I'm not sure if it was an actual transformer that was actually hit. Those were just rumors. Uh, the fire was going for quite a bit of time before internet was actually cut so I don't think it was a transformer that killed the internet uh, we had AEP electrical out here and I think they were the ones that cut the power the rain starting to let up just a little bit see somebody's asking if this is normal weather for this time of year yeah it's off and on if I look back at some of my uh, Facebook posts, you could probably see that we get some of this kind of weather here this time of year. This is definitely not a hurricane. This is just a big rainstorm coming in from the from 
in the north a little bit. We've been expecting it for a couple of days now. A bit of flame still poking out the top there above the palm trees in the distance. Given the circumstances, the fire department here, with all their reinforcements, have done an amazing job of keeping this at bay from spreading to other buildings. Especially with the wind out here, this wind was pretty, pretty bad. I cannot confirm if everyone is okay. We did have a firefighter that had to be uh, sent to the hospital. Not sure if it was just smoke inhalation. Probably was just smoke inhalation. Uh, I don't think they got anywhere near the fire. Unless they got in there right as it first started and then it got out of control. The wind has let up quite a bit. Let's see if I can get a... Another shot here, yeah, most of the uh, sapphire is obscured now with the smoke. The rain is starting to let up just a hair now. There's Brownsville Fire Rescue coming in. I think I'm going to try and uh, go back outside for a second, see if I can get another shot. I'll stand by for just a bit. Don't want to get all my equipment wet here. Whoever's texting me, if you're watching the feed, I cannot check right now, so y'all stand by. Mm. Take this little towel. Brownsville Fire Rescue coming in. Wow. This is a massive fire today. Ah, that looks like a big relief out there. Big plumes of white smoke, steam. That means lots of water's being put on that fire. Good job, guys. Good job. One second, guys. Let's see what I can get out of here. And we still have fire trucks and EMS coming across the bridge. South 
Goddard really needed some help today. I'll tell you what. Definitely a lot less flames, a lot more water being poured on it. We have Westlico, wow. We got Westlico rolling in over here. That's a uh, that's at least uh an hour and a half drive from here. These guys are really in it. Emergency response. Who else we got here? We got another huge uh, oh, Westlico ladder. All right, guys, right on. Serious business today. Serious business. Yeah, Michael, I can't believe Westlico's here, man. Oh, I'm telling you, man, uh, when I first was listening to the scanner radio this morning, I could hear the distress in our local fire department here on South Padre Island. They were freaking out. This was a huge fire. This is probably the biggest fire South Padre Island has ever seen. I think the second biggest one was probably the Sea Ranch Marina. I don't remember what year that was, but that was a pretty large fire as well. I believe that was the early 90s, maybe. Oh, look at that structure. That structure is ripped. And we still have more fire agencies coming over the bridge right now. I can hear them in the distance. Westlico's reinforcements, mass casualty evacuation ambulance. Oh man, I hope they don't have to use that for anything. We've got some more firemen on the on the move right here. Yeah, we still have some fire up on the very tips. Uh, they're trying to get at those, but the majority of the fire is out now. The bulk of it down below. This building here is gonna be a total loss. I talked to the uh, general manager of the Sapphire this morning. I thought it was the Sapphire that was on fire when I saw the smoke. He was uh, pretty distressed too. He finally called me back, told me that it wasn't the Sapphire. So I rushed down here to see what I could catch. Oh man, I just missed a huge bolt of lightning. Damn, I don't know if y'all saw that or not right over the gulf right here to the left 
Wow. Yeah, definitely could have been worse, but they couldn't have done this by themselves, man. They needed some definite help out here. This is a serious fire. We have at least five water monitors on it right now. The wind has let up, the rain has let up. We're back to a drizzle now, so I'm gonna stay out here just a little bit longer getting in somebody's way. I wanna... Indeed, that downpour was a godsend. I think that helped out quite a bit. Sorry for the shaky video, guys. Got my hands full here, zoomed in. The wind's kind of making it cool out here, so I got a little shiver in my hands. Uh, here comes some more rain. Lots of white smoke now. It's like they got that top little bit of fire out. Howdy. They're gonna make you come back this way, bro. Yeah, they already ran me off a couple times. <laughs> I was gonna start on that side. You can try, man. I'm just letting you know they, they ran everybody off. I'll record first and then I'll move. Here you want to get the grass. Well, he said that they kicked you out from there. Oh, yeah. God. If, uh, if y'all need to get any better shots later on, if you look up on YouTube, Lab Padre, I got all of it on here. Okay. Oh, nice. Both y'all with four? No, I'm oh. with uh, Telemundo. Telemundo? Yeah. All right, guys, we got Telemundo and Jeff. KVEO, right? Yeah, KVO yeah. out here. <laughs> I'm listening to KURP. <laughs> There's a little bit of rain. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Telemundo and Channel 4 getting their shots out here today. With that? Yeah, definitely. Do you know what it was? I think it was lightning. I pulled the alarm. Oh, you pulled it. So I got a guy here that's showing me the where the fire first started I think lightning may have started it uh, this guy here that I'm with is the guy that pulled the fire alarm he was staying there and um, got anything else to say about that no? okay. yeah wow thank you bro so under further investigation here as one of the guys that was working uh staying there looks like lightning may have hit the building because it fire started right at the top <laughs> yes sir Number one in the news, I don't know about that, Andrew, but I try my best. I don't know if y'all heard that lightning or that thunderbolt here just now. That was a nice loud one. Still have more agencies coming across the bridge. I can hear them. More thunder. The 
sapphire and pearls. The driveway is completely blocked up. They're not letting anybody leave this area right now. Brownsville Fire Department and, and is, is who supports SpaceX along with their own little small fire truck that they have there. With the amount of rain and wind that's been going on today and the forecast, I highly doubt there's going to be any kind of static fire or wet dress rehearsal today. I'm not sure how SpaceX works, but uh, this is not optimal conditions, not nominal, not nominal. Yeah, here we got another fire truck rolling in from somewhere. I'll pan over in just a bit. Here we are. Harlingen. Harlingen finally made it in. Wow. Westlaco made it before Harlingen. Wow. Westlaco is probably about 20 minutes or more further from Harlingen. I can smell it. Oh yeah, it smells like a campfire now. Woo! Yeah, the winds are definitely changing. You can see the... Uh, whew! Huh. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Yeah, the wind's starting to blow back to the north now. That's really going to put a damper on the guys that are inside that parking garage. Hopefully they get their uh, scuba gear on. Hey guys, these guys need to come in. The fumes don't seem so bad. It just smells like a big old campfire. I don't smell anything out of the ordinary other than some wood, maybe a little bit of tar. I appreciate you looking out though. Yeah, I didn't have time to jump inside the mobile unit. I didn't I do not have the mobile unit with me. It takes me about 20 minutes or so to get that thing hooked up to the vehicle and ready to go. Don't breathe, don't breathe the fumes. I gotta breathe something, guys. Oh, sorry. Okay, here. All right, another recap, guys. Gulf Point condominiums. Dude, what the? F Gulf Point condominiums. Here on South Padre Island, it was the northeastern complex, one of about five or six complexes here. If I pan out a little bit, you can see the other complexes that weren't affected yet, although they may get a little bit of smoke damage. We are right next door to the Sapphire condominiums on top in the south tower is where our sapphire camera is at lots of smoke the wind has died down almost to a stop so the smoke is starting to just billow around and consume the entire area now one fireman so far 
I, I, we've heard that there was one fireman that had to be taken to the hospital. Uh huh. Lightning. Again, these streams are brought to you by Sapphire Condominiums and the Isla Grande Beach Resort, along with Orbital Media Networks. Orbital Media Networks. I'm not sure which agency fire men was from. It does look like it was a lightning strike. It's hard to say. Uh, we heard, first had some reports that it was a transformer that started the fire, but we just had somebody show us some pictures that he took. He was the one that actually saw the fire and pulled the fire alarm. And he showed us a picture that he took and there was a fire just right on the roof. I mean, it looked like it, it had to have been a fire. Oh, we got Rio Hondo police here as well. And we got agencies from all over the lower Rio Grande Valley. Horrible. Yeah, man. You're here? Yeah. Oh, you're staying here? Oh, wow. Yeah, and then my girlfriend woke me up like, what the hell? And I was in the second one, so I ran and I kicked the door because there's two puppies there. And I got the two puppies and the owner was downstairs. It's crazy. Yeah, so this started at 6? Yeah, 6.30. Oh, 7. 6.30, okay. Yeah, I thought it started about 7.15, but yeah. So uh, I'm standing with a guy here that's staying at the first condos right over here. And uh, he woke up about 6.30 in the morning to the fire. And what'd you say, you kicked in the door to get some yeah, dogs? The There's some puppies there that he helped out. Oh man, you can see that place getting ready to fall apart right now. Man, I'm glad your family's okay, man. Yeah. Crazy. Uh. Well, I mean, we're older here, so we come here every weekend, but... They all started like this. Here's a... Uh, this guy here that was staying, this is his his shot of the fire from the ground level up close. It's tiny. Wow. They all like blew up. Yeah, there was somebody did a live view from on top of the sapphire earlier. Yeah, you the could Raptor see got, got burned too. The, the car. Oh really? Wow. Oh wow, check that out. Ooh. Rio Hondo Volunteer Fire Department, man. Hidalgo County EMS. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, guys, I appreciate y'all tuning in, but uh, there's no need for jokes on this stream right now, guys. We don't know if anybody else has been hurt or not, so uh, let's let's keep this keep this cordial, please. Some of those, were, yeah, there's some flames up top just a little bit. Those right there down below are just reflections of the siren lights but right up here we do have a little bit of fire uh y'all stand by for one second i got my wife all right we're back yeah i kind of ran out of the house this morning took off without really letting her know exactly what was going on and she knew there was a fire
Yeah, we probably had at least a dozen cars popping out there. It was pretty bad. Once uh, all the uh, commotion is cleared, I'll probably take a hike up to the top of the Sapphire and go get some shots from up there. <coughs> mm. Cam 1 is down, uh, for those of y'all wondering, Cam 1 is down, they've uh, turned off the electricity in the area, so my uh, fiber node has lost connection. Uh, the internet has been, uh, our, our main hop is at the Sapphire, so Sapphire's internet is more than likely down right now, which is our connection to Cam, to all, all the Cams really, Cams 2 and 3, 1, 2 and 3. Sorry guys. Hold on again guys. Wind is starting to pick up again just a bit. Racer, awesome man. You know that's all thanks to you. Racer X is a guy that donated our scanner equipment. Appreciate that, buddy. I see they got a drone in the air now, checking things out from above. That's the city's drone. Hmm. Yeah, they definitely got it under control. Most of it's out. It looks like they're just putting out some hot spots now. Oh man, that place is gutted. That whole building's gonna have to come down. Yeah, I walked on the way. 
We got quite a bit of lightning still happening right now. Frank asking about the fire. Yeah, this is the biggest fire that South Padre Island has ever seen. We had one a little bit smaller, probably 20 years ago or more, maybe even 25 years ago at the uh, Sea Ranch Marina. But this is definitely the biggest fire. They definitely have hours of work to do out the hot spots right now they still have plenty of water going on it we're talking about a wall possibly here in just a bit i just got a text saying something about 47 confirmed lightning strikes holy crap hold on one second all right, yeah, uh, so the news is confirming that there was 47 lightning strikes on the island, and we are pretty sure that it was a lightning strike. Like I was saying earlier, one of the guys that was staying in the condominiums there, he showed me some photos. If you look back later on in the stream, maybe 30 minutes ago or so, he saw some fire up on the roof early in the morning, and he's the one that pulled the fire alarm. Sorry, man. Can't confirm if everyone is okay, but we have heard reports that there was a fireman that was taken to the hospital early on. I'm speculating that it's probably smoke inhalation. This thing went out of control real fast. So that was my wife that uh, gave me the uh, update from the news that there was 47 concern, confirmed strikes. You know, I, I don't know if I heard 47 thunderbolts or not, but wow, that's a lot. I just got another confirmation that Channel 5 News has reported that everybody was evacuated from the building. Like I was saying earlier, early on when it first started, the uh, scanners were showing, reporting all the evacuations, and uh, they were really about it. But uh, they did an awesome job, got everybody out of there. Oh, here, oh man, missed another big lightning strike. Wow.
we still have a little bit of fire on one of the peaks of the building. Yeah, that fire went up in a blaze, I mean, quick. My buddy sent me a quick video pretty much right when it started. And by the time I got down here, maybe 10, 12 minutes later, man, it was just wild. I've got a lot more steam coming off the structure now. So that is a really good sign that those hot spots are getting put out. kind of hard to see but these fire trucks are to get a little bit closer and get a lot more water on it yes this uh, rain was definitely a godsend for these guys I'm sure that had a lot to do with how quickly it finally subsided it didn't look like it was going anywhere for quite some time until that rain poured down and that wind just forced that water right up into there and smothered it. Uh, no, that's not me. No, that's Telemundo. Or you Telemundo, right? I think it's channel four, channel five. Yeah, just not in this driveway. Okay. If I see him, I'll let him know. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stay right here too. Whew. <laughs> Sounds like we still have more. Oh, there's another ladder truck coming from probably, ooh, another lightning bolt. Man, that was a close one. I always miss the lightning bolts. Ooh, smoke's starting to head this way. Now we got somebody trying to turn on their music over here like this is some type of party. <coughs> Y'all out? Oh. Also got San Benito Fire Department in here. Man, they're kind of slow. They're one of the closer ones. A lot of these guys are volunteer fire departments too. So it takes a little bit of time to get them out here. A little late guys, but thanks for rolling in. Not sure what they're gonna do all the way out here. guys so for another recap we're on South Padre Island Texas Gulf Point condominiums 
caught fire the northeastern complex one of about five or six complexes here on the southern end of south padre island right next door to the sapphire condominiums here's the two towers this happened about 6 45 or so this morning looks like the entire complex is completely devastated we have some walls that are in the midst of collapsing we have one firefighter that we've heard reports that had to be taken to the hospital possibly for smoke inhalation Hi. All right. Hi. You're good. Yeah, as far as those dogs, uh, puppies are concerned. Are you, what happened to the dogs? They're asking about the dogs here oh, on the I live stream. Give, I give them back to the owners. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, so yeah, the dogs are safe and um, they're back with their owners. Do you know if anybody else is injured? Yeah, all I heard of was just the, the fireman, and that's it. I think everybody was evacuated. Channel 5 reported that everybody was evacuated from the building. This guy right here, this guy that saved the dogs. Man in camo, the savior today. Looks like we got some more rain coming in now. Indeed, that is thunder, guys. We got lots of lightning, lots of thunder happening right now. There's a drone. I get that shot there. Where's the drone? There it is. Right there in the distance. Guys, if y'all want to know about any FAA permits or SpaceX, please go back to the other streams. Uh, the stream should still be on, but the cameras are probably down due to the internet outage. Hello? Yeah, the drone is the uh, fire department drone getting some aerial reconnaissance. Yeah, Mark, I'm not sure. It probably is. It possibly is an Inspire. That looked pretty big. Yeah, that's a big one. West with fire protection. Oh yeah, we got a lot of steam smoke now. That's a good sign. The smoke is white now. We don't have hardly any black smoke anymore.
bolt of lightning. From the actual complex that is on fire, I would say I'm a little less than a quarter mile. I'm right, right on the right on the nub of maybe a quarter mile. I'm standing across the street from this little pond, just, you know, 120, 30 feet or so, and then, yeah, that's probably only a thousand feet. I might be a thousand feet, maybe, yeah. right under a quarter mile. And I'm just using this cell phone for this coverage. Smoke's clearing from the top now. all the rain they could get racer help put out these hot spots looks like it's out for the most part there's little small bits and pieces here and there Jess Alford yes sir can you give us any confirmation about a fireman that was hurt? Uh, hold on a second, guys. Oh, okay. The whole complex is definitely going to be a total loss. Um, it's really, really bad. Earlier we had some uh, live footage coming on from the top of the Sapphire from somebody that was on Facebook Live. If you go back on the stream early on and you can see that whole, the whole top of the roof was on fire up there. It was really bad. Yeah, the wind definitely calmed down. It's starting to slightly pick back up just a bit, coming from the southeast now. It was coming really strong from the north, northeast earlier. Now it's whipped around just a bit, bringing the smoke almost directly north now. You can see all the smoke coming up this way. Get a better shot. The smoke's traveling this way, coming across the island. you'd be surprised I've been doing this for many many a years man my father's a retired fire uh, retired from the fire department and uh, I used to take his radio on the days off on his days off back in the late 80s and early 90s and uh, me and my buddy would roll around San Antonio Texas with his radio listening for fires trying to get on scene and get the camera get a VCR camera with a first shots been into the video scenes, man. Again, anybody want any SpaceX information, please move over to the other streams, please. We got lots of, lots of TV stations here. We got Channel 5, local, Channel 4, local, Telemundo.
flames now. So that is some positive information here. The police did not want to give any reports about a fireman that was possibly hurt early on. Frank, thanks for your concern, man. I appreciate it. It's a pretty devastating fire. I'm glad everybody's okay for the most part from what we've heard. No, the drone is not up anymore. They brought it down just a few minutes ago. They just got some quick aerial shots to look for any hot spots up above. They use thermal imaging here as well. So they got a good feed on where all the hot spots are. Yes, that is Gulf Point. It's with the northeastern complex. I don't know what what actual building it is. Uh, if you're coming in through their driveway, it looks it's like it's the second building on the left. Gulf Point is in between Sapphire Condominiums and Gulf View 2 Condominiums. The winds start to pick up pretty strong now again from the south. Wow, we have San Juan Fire Department here as well. Man, those guys are a good hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes away from us. Man, they really called in the troops. appreciate y'all tuning in and watching this live coverage here on South Padre Island. I know most of y'all are interested in SpaceX and what's going on down here. Uh, I feel I owe it to my local viewers and subscribers to report on what's going on down here in the lower Rio Grande Valley. So y'all hang tight. Once again, these uh, live views are brought to you in part by Orbital Media Networks. Sapphire Condominiums and the Isla Grand Beach Resort here on South Padre Island. We don't have full confirmation yet, but from some of the photos early on, it looks like we had a lightning strike that hit one of the buildings and uh, just escalated from there. And these buildings are been here for quite some time, so this wood, these wood structures just. Uh, went up really fast. I'm here in the parking lot of the South Padre Island bus station. We got all kinds of media out here today. Just so you know, I was the first on scene other than a few uh, people that were taking photos and pictures for Facebook.
This is our buddy Tiki Tommy that's uh, doing an interview with Channel 5 right now. I know, man. There, uh, we saw some somebody, the, the guy that actually pulled the fire alarm. He uh, he said it was a lightning bolt that hit yeah, the top I'm of the roof. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was lightning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and so was, like, right when I got the call, that lightning, the storm had just had gone by, and we had a lot of lightning and thunder there. And that's probably what got it. So there was another guy here too that kicked in a door to oh big lightning that yeah, um so big lightning right saved there. some dogs in there also. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, uh, Tim would have the access to the cloud. Thank you. Got all I need is an office. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm from Channel 4. Hey. How are you? Available for me. Sure. Yeah, I know. I live here, but I, I was here real early when it was the beginning of it almost. And I'm like, a friend of mine drove by and saw the smoke, and the next thing he calls me, and I came back, and, and it just took off of Flames are incredible. I've got a lot of video on it. Tons of video on Facebook and at the Dropbox. Do you have, give me your email address on the Dropbox too. Do you have your email address just to get a card or something? Frank, I appreciate the donations, man. Um, you know, I can always check and see where uh, we can allocate those funds to. Um, right now, it's a big, messy situation here right now. Nobody really wants to talk to anybody. But we're always welcome to help people out here. <laughs> and these cops are such jerks. Smoke is definitely coming this way now. Looks like the wind's starting to move to the west, bringing the smoke directly to us. Ooh, big lightning, big lightning. So again, to recap with the amount of uh, reinforcements here to help South Padre Island Fire Department, we have uh, Port Isabel Fire Department, we have Laguna Vista, we have Los Fresnos, we have Harlingen, Brownsville, San Juan, San Benito, Westlaco. This is insane. I cannot believe there's that many fire agencies here on South Padre Island this morning. What a way to wake up.
Oh. I'm not sure how the power grid's working here. It's a little weird here on South Padre, but um, the power definitely has been cut. The lights are not on the apartments anymore. The internet has definitely been cut on the uh, eastern portion of the island. Let me uh, double check. Give me a second. I'll see if the cams are back up. Who am I going to look at the camera? Look at you. You can look at the camera. Okay. 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 Well, you'll be looking at me. Okay. 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 okay we have your first name, your title. Can you spell it? Uh, spell it out. Or, okay. Louis, uh, my name's Luis Balderas. L O U I S. B is in boy. A L D E R A S. And what do you have been seen here today? Well, um, we looked like it started as a, uh, a lightning strike on the roof, and. Um, it just escalated from there. The wind really started to uh, push the, the fire and escalated really fast. Um, I got here about 7.15 and the smoke was just billowing. I mean, billowing really bad. Um, I talked to a couple people here. I talked to the guy that actually pulled the fire panel, down, uh, fire alarm. Uh, he saw, he heard the lightning and then he saw the fire on the roof. And um, so that's basically how it started, but we're, what we're thinking. And how have you been seeing it evolve? With the rain, have you been seeing that it helped a little bit? The rain did help. You know, we were hoping for it. We were watching the cells on the uh, weather maps, and um, it helped. It helped big time. The, the wind wasn't helping at first, but as soon as that rain came down really strong, it, we saw a lot of white smoke, which means the steam starting to come out. So um, it helped big time. And have you seen the firefighters from all the surrounding cities? Yeah, this is one of the biggest fires we've seen here on the island uh, to help out with South Padre Island. We've seen Laguna Vista, Los Fresnos, Harlingen, Brownsville, Westlaco, San Benito, San Juan. Uh, everybody down here in the Rio Grande Valley is out here helping out. I appreciate all of them coming out to help us out. Can you tell us a little bit about what you mentioned, a story about some dogs that uh, may help them? Yes, uh, there was a guy here that I was talking to. He was staying in the first building that didn't catch fire and he saw the commotion and he went and helped somebody out, kicked the door in, grabbed the dogs, and took them to where the owners were. I guess the owners weren't in there at the time. Uh, thank God for him, you know, we all love puppies. <laughs> thank you so much, sir. Anything else you would like to add? No, thank you. Uh, just uh, 
appreciate everybody coming out here to help us out here on South Pottery Island. This is, like I said, this is one of the biggest fires we have, big disaster, and um, we appreciate everybody's help here in the Rio Grande Valley. Thank you so much. Thank you. So you were here since around 7.15. Could you take us through like a rundown of, you know, what you were seeing? Just sure. Yeah. Um, I first I parked right here in the Pearl and uh, the Sapphire parking lot, and um, it was the fire was big. I mean, it was out of control. I also saw a video from up above on the Sapphire. Uh, somebody was doing Facebook Live, and uh, you could see the entire, the, entire was, uh, the roof was just completely engulfed in flames. Um, I also have a, a camera on top of the Sapphire. We're trying to look at the. The, the fire from up there, but it was nothing but smoke. All we could see is smoke from up high. We could definitely see uh, fire embers flowing above the sapphire, which is you know about 350 feet up in the air. So it was a lot of smoke, a lot of fire. Um, thankfully, everybody's safe. I did hear some reports that there was a fireman that was taken to the hospital, but I can't confirm that yet. Uh, nobody wanted to really say. And what was your, what is your time? Do you live in this? I live, I live here on South Padre Island. I live about a mile and a half north. Um, a buddy of mine was passing by and saw the fire. He sent me a little video. I jumped out, jumped up, came over here to check it out and uh, started recording and videoing, doing a live stream on YouTube for my YouTube channel. Well, was, were there, um, I know you said there was a firefighter uh, that was taking the hospital and confirmed. Did you, have you heard of any fatalities? Have you... I haven't heard of any fatalities. We were listening to the uh, scanner on the radio and uh, they said that they got everybody evacuated. Uh, the news on, on TV was also reporting that everybody was evacuated out of the main building that was on fire. Um, uh, that's, that's all I really know about any kind of injuries or anything like that. Uh, Luis Balderas or Luis Balderas, L O U I S, B is in boy, A L D E R A S. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Oh, B A L D, yes, perfect. Looks like we also have far. Yeah. No, I don't. I'm sorry. I was. Oh, well, do you have an interview in a bit? Sure, sure. Okay. Looks like we also got FAR in here. Wow, I think every fire agency in the Rio Grande Valley is here today. Mm. What a day, what a day. <laughs> you still alive? Yeah, it's oh. alright. It's alright. Oh, okay. I'm going to be doing another interview with Telemundo now. I wish I could speak better Spanish. Excellent. Thank you very much, man. Uh, Luis Balderas, L O U I S, B is in boy, A L Z E R A S, and um, just a, a resident here on South Padre Island. Tell me, uh, for a bit, uh, how did it happen? How, when the first uh, saw this happening? Well, uh, a buddy of mine sent me a video uh, about 6:45 in the morning, and uh, the fire had just started, and. Um, I jumped up, came over here to get get some more video and recordings going on, and before, by the time I was here, the building was completely engulfed in flames. Uh, we saw some live video from Facebook from on top of the Sapphire condominiums, and uh, the entire roof was completely on fire. Uh, I talked to one of the guys that was staying there in the building. He saw the fire on top of the roof. He's the one that pulled the fire alarm panel down, and um, he showed me some video and pictures too. And it was pretty, pretty bad. This is the, probably the biggest fire you've seen here? Definitely the biggest fire that we've seen on South Padre Island. Um, agencies from all over the Rio Grande Valley to help South Padre Island. We have Port Isabel, Laguna Vista, um, Los Fresnos, Harlingen, Brownsville, Westlico, Far, San Benito. 
everybody's here right now helping out, and I appreciate everybody coming out here to help us. Um, how long did it happen? When, when you got here, the police, uh, firemen were already here? Fire Firemen were already here. Um, I was listening on the scanner on the way over here, and uh, they, from what they said, they evacuated everybody out of the building. Um, I could hear in their voices that they were really frantic. It was a big, big, big fire. I know these guys haven't seen anything like this here before. So I, I, I could hear it in their voices. It was pretty intense. Uh, did the rain uh, kind of make, uh, make things worse? Well, the wind was making things worse, uh, really, really bad. And um, eventually the rain came down really strong and the wind forced that rain right into the building and it helped quite a bit. Before you know it, we've got a lot of steam smoke coming up. And um, now, from the looks of it, um, we can see the there's a few hot spots out there. But uh, I think they're going to be here all day working on this. Uh, did you see people coming out of the of those condominiums? I didn't actually see anybody coming out, but um, I heard reports of some other people. They're coming out. Um, everybody seems to be okay. There's a shake, people shaking up. Uh, there was another guy here somewhere. This guy right here. He actually helped some uh, some dogs, some puppies that were stuck in one of the rooms. And I thank God he helped them out. The puppies are safe and sound now, back with the owners. So good job on him. Anything else you want to say? No, I think that's it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'll just give it to her so she can explain what that guy said. Not that left, bro. I know. Anybody? No one got hurt, right? Um, I just heard about that fireman that might have gone to the hospital, but yeah. nobody wants to confirm. I tried to talk to the police here. Nobody wants yeah, to confirm no anything. Uh, Channel 5 News confirmed that everybody was evacuated. Yeah, Fan, I appreciate that, man. You rock. Yeah, that place has been reduced to a big pile of smoldering rubble. There you go. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. There's a little replay, guys, of what was happening earlier. That place was totally engulfed. My goodness. You can see all you can see the wind how it was blowing the that uh, water fountain there. You wanna see it early on, I'll get it early on if you want to early on. Mm -hmm. From those of y'all watching the early days of Lab Padre, I'm here with Tiki Tommy. He's the guy that gives us the news briefs on the uh, surf reports early in the morning. Yeah, there was a guy that was staying at the Gulf Point, and he he saw he heard the lightning. He came outside. He saw fire on the roof, and he pulled the fire alarm, and that's how it all that went down from there. Yes, um, yeah, about five, maybe six. Um, but uh, the guy that pulled the fire alarm, he said it was about six forty-five. That okay. that that. that uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure from what he saw, um, the, he heard the lightning strike oh, wow. and um, a, the lightning bolt and he came outside and he saw fire on the roof and he pulled the fire alarm down.
Oh, uh, it was a Christmas present, actually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, um, you can probably pick them up at Walmart. Okay, okay. Try it out. I'm glad I had it with me. I, I usually don't carry it. What was your first impression when you saw the fire? I just tried to hop it over. They work. <laughs> so you did better than me, man. <laughs> it's okay. We, um, it's just, yeah, it's, it's uh, you motivated to, uh, we can still cut it out. Would you be able to send me those? Yeah. Lab Paddington, huh? <laughs> you can send it to our station. Give me an email, I'll give you guys uh, the Dropbox. I have the Dropbox. Okay. With all the files there. Everything, okay. Everything I shot today. All these good files. Like this. Like, like, this is what I'm driving here. You made Boulevard. Look at this. It's, it's back over there. Mm -hmm. like back there. This is what I got here. Excuse me. I was going to say also, um, if you want to um, go to my YouTube channel, I have really. <laughs> Lab Padre, L A B. Your Lab Padre? Yes. Oh, awesome. Hi, I'm Rudy. Nice to meet you. you. You guys are the, the top dogs now. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny, huh? One shot from Ben Hill from above. Yeah, the shooting down. Yeah, that was man. A shot. If it had to have been raining, I could have thrown the drone up, but I don't want to chance the drone. I mean, I could have brought it up over this way. Yeah, I'm not trying to drop mine out of the sky. Yeah, they're probably getting mad if you have a drone. No, you can't have a drone. It can be here, but not there. Yeah. First time in my life, he's a drone pilot, so can't get away. Yeah, they've got a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, videos and photos. Good stuff. I just got it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Alright, looks like the internet is back up. Uh, Y'all give me a, just a few minutes here. I'm going to pause the video for a second while I get the cams back up for you guys. Yeah, now you can keep the fireman made up. Now you see. 
cheated a little bit, but if you're not sure on that, you can get in there. This is what the road looks like. And we've got more over this way. Of course, all the TV stations are here. Fire and rescue there. They have Westlaco here. I think Westlaco was here, right? Westlaco was here, yeah. Westlico. San Juan, San Benito. Wow. You hear that, guys? A lot of different fire departments over here. Westlaco, San Benito. Laguna Vista, Port Isabel, South Padre. Hidalgo. Hidalgo, yeah. Hidalgo. Hidalgo. Brownsville. Brownsville. Harlingen. Hidalgo. Hidalgo. Everybody. 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 <laughs> Everybody. Mercedes. I don't think Mercedes. I saw Mercedes. <laughs> There's Hidalgo County, right? EMS right there. Hidalgo, I mean, uh, I think uh, San Juan's the furthest one. Oh, yeah, that's San how Juan is here, too. Yeah. I saw that. Beautiful. I'm glad she got to stay. She, yeah, loves, here. she loves it here. Yeah. Okay. She doesn't have the peace and quiet she had before, though. No. Not even close. Looks like they're finally able to get a fire uh, fire ladder up there now to get some get higher thing. views. That's a bad ass shot that Ben got. Oh yeah. Bird's eye view. Hey guys, I see y'all talking about a typo. I'm not sure what y'all are talking about. Where did I flub it up? Ah, the title, huh? Yeah, I was in a hurry. My bad. Oh yeah, we're getting a, a direct easterly wind now, blowing into the west. Smoke's coming right at us. Uh. Fee on South Padre Island. Damn it, damn it. I wish I could edit it from here. Looks like we got some more evacuees coming out right now. Wow, man. I think it was more than that, man. San Juan. Oh, that was the ninth one? San Juan, San Benito, Harlingen, Brownsville, Westlaco, Laguna Vista, Park. Port Isabel, the Fresnos, yeah. I think they realize those shit are hard to have no problem. We don't have enough people. No shit, man. Welch, I'll definitely let y'all know on that. As soon as I get to be able to speak with some other agencies here, I'll let fill y'all in and let y'all know. Yeah, I heard about that. Probably some smoke inhalation. A lot, a lot of smoke. So I've done a couple interviews here, uh, Brownsville Herald, Channel 5, and Telemundo. Yes. 
it up. Man. I don't know if it's going to be a meeting. Yeah, I would say tomorrow. Yeah, today's yeah, not going to be up there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it. Uh, all right. All right, bye. All right, guys, I'm going to chime out here. Thank you all again for tuning in. Uh, got some calls to make. I got some uh, text to return. I got some breakfast to eat. I think I got another interview here that I got to do as well. So I'm going to sign off here. I appreciate everybody watching. Once again, these live streams are brought to you in part by Sapphire Condominiums, the Isla Grand Beach Resort, and Orbital Media Networks. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you all for the donations. And uh, we will be in touch soon. See you on the flip side, guys. Lab Padre out.